After visiting Sunset Crater and Wapaki National Monuments, I went to Grand Canyon, where I boondocked and visited with a friend along the South Rim. Just a little bit of rain. Maybe a little more. the Grand Canyon from Navajo Point. Colorado River down below. See it right there. Yeah. Nice light and shadows. We've got these wonderful rain clouds. You couldn't hardly ask for anything more. Beautiful day. Got you to the rim of the Grand Canyon. Not only do we look down into the Grand Canyon, but we look back over here to Desert View Watchtower. Right you can keep walking along the rim, you just gotta watch where you're walking. Oh, I see we got a few little flowers down here. I think that's part of the problem when people are taking video or selfie shots is that they forget to uh, watch where they're walking. Whew. What a breathtaking place, huh? All right, we got to see the Grand Canyon. Now we got to go a little bit further to get camp.
everywhere I go, I have cows for neighbors. And there goes another one. Got one munching down the grass back here. There's at least three ways to turn into this camp area in the Kaibab National Forest. People can separate. Let's see. There's a site right there. Over here, too. If you drive up that road just a little ways, there's another one over there, and that's three. The one with the table right there, that's four. Right across the way from that, there's a big site here, fire ring right here. Okay, that's five. And then where I'm parked, So that's six. And that's if everybody's being polite and spreading out. You could probably put more people here. Never seen too many. Even when it's busy, it's not full. My guess is somebody might have parked right over here. Well, it was a nice night. Quiet for the most part. <laughs> We gotta bounce this mile back out. You probably don't need that. And I am meeting a friend at the rim. Well, this is day five of the summer 2023 journey. I'm still at the Grand Canyon, but now I'm at Moran Point. So you get a slightly different view of the Grand Canyon. There's places you can see the river down below. And I'll try not to blind you over here with the sun. And I don't think I'll ever get enough of this big ditch. Well, I'm leaving Moran Point now, a little after six, so got to visit with my friend Maggie. We pretty much just hung out in the camper, but we also did make it to the rim, and I got some pictures for you. So I'm headed back to camp in the forest here, and uh, I'll probably hang there for at least another day or so. Um, it's got a pretty good signal out there, so I can actually get some work done. Just starting to rain here in the forest. It's delightful. It smells really good. I do hear thunder. I had some lightning. Kind of like to hear rain on the roof. This is my window view. It's a oak tree out here and then ponderosa pine beyond. Look how lush and green it is. Lots and lots of snow fell here this winter. So not only is it raining, but it looks like it might have hailed or snowed. Great! So we need the moisture. Petrichor. The flower here, you see, right there on the tip of the branch. And to tell you the truth, these trees are loaded with flowers. So I guess that's good because there'll be cones coming on and, well, that plants more trees. I'm not sure you can see the streakies on the windshield, but what that is is pollen. And now we're gonna see if I can wash it off. <laughs> Here we go. We'll try. This has been a marvelous camp. 
on the Kaibab National Forest um, near the south rim of the Grand Canyon. Well, I am going to roll today and end up somewhere else on the other side of that big ditch tonight. But I think I'll make a stop along the way and say hello to that Grand Canyon at least one more time. Get ready for the bumpy ride out. Well, we made it back to the Desert View Road. Back to pavement. Only took oh, about, what, almost 15 minutes. Partially because I did have some people coming at me and thank goodness they just pulled over and let me bounce my way past. And now I can hear the mud bouncing off of the tires. The cliff rows are in bloom. I see orange lining the road. That's the globe mallow. Wow, beautiful. 64 degrees. And people don't like that I do the speed limit. You fool. Put people's life at risk so that you can go five miles an hour faster. I don't get it. They're in the national park. They want to go as fast as they can. Next point, next point, next point. Never see anything along the way. I wonder if they even notice the flowers. It's really sad. Americans are in such a rush. Those people were rushing to Lippin Point so they could get out, take their selfies, and be at the Overlook for probably no more than two minutes. That's the average. No, that's not even the average. Actually, that's the high. Most people aren't even there for two minutes. They park. They don't turn off the engine. They jump out. They gasp at the view. They take a selfie, they get back in their car, and they drive on. It's so sad. Desert view. is amazing. And I'm about to share it with you. Sweet smell, flowers and such. Pollen, lots of pollen in the air. Well, there we are. We're looking down at the Grand Canyon. As I was continuing to walk down the trail, I see more flowers. The little daisies, they're so beautiful. There's still a few orange mallow over here. And look at the development of cones on the pinyon pine. Oh my lord, there will be pollen. And that also tells me that in two more years, there will be a bumper crop of pinyon pine nuts. Because it takes about three years for them to mature. I'll be back. I 
Nice pinion pie. So many flowers. Loving it. What a beautiful trail. Flowers. Pinion pine. And beautiful views of the creek. trail continues along the rim and we're approaching the namesake for this overlook just up ahead maybe you can see it between the trees maybe you can huh And there it is in all its glory. The Desert View Watchtower. It sure has been a great visit to the South Rim of the Grand Canyon. I've loved every bit of it. I hope you have too. If you have, well, maybe you'll like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And uh, hey, let me know what you liked about the whole thing. Maybe let me know what you didn't like about the whole thing as well. Anyway, we'll be taking off from here and visiting an entirely different view of kind of the same place. Hey, have a great day. I'm a happy camper.